Hi, hi everyone. I am back. I know I'm by schedule. It's supposed to be Tuesday, but I felt like doing a little hangout session. This may not be more than maybe an hour or two. You never know. Um, just felt like hanging out, watching some videos, and I figured, why not? Uh, why not hop on here where I can do it with others? So we are gonna be reacting to some. Daz Games, um, he's someone that I've watched for a while now, Loved his, love his videos, um, and this is his series where he reacts to videos too, but these are the worst toys ever made, is what he's watching, so let's give it a go. How's it going Dazzlers, welcome back to Daz Games, and another Daz watches my throat right now. <clears throat> has come back with a vengeance. It seems the flu has one last strike at my body before it leaves it entirely. Childhood, one of the many things that makes up our childhood is the toys that we played with. They bring us so much joy. I remember my favorite toys was my Ghostbusters tower. Sometimes though, toys are designed terribly or oddly. Today we're gonna be looking at biggest toy fails for children. Let's go! My dog destroyed her toy cactus and there was another sad cactus inside. Why? So wait, you, 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 unless you ripped it open, you wouldn't know there was a sadder cactus inside the happy one? Is that like a metaphor for depression or something? Yeah, that's a that kind of odd toy. Four-legged <laughs> I think the front ones are supposed to be its wings, but it doesn't look like that. It just looks like it's a duck from Chernobyl. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, just got four oh, legs. I had to look at this a few times. They couldn't find a better place oh. to blow up this balloon. Oh no. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Obviously that just looks odd like Baymax has got his max out, but you have to blow <laughs> into that as well. <laughs> oh my god. Like, well, he's just breaking he's making eye contact yeah, you to do it. Can you imagine it? Making eye contact. <laughs> Imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so we've got a blue horse here. I presume some sort of. Is it a My Little Pony or something? I don't know. And the tail. Nice, nice blonde locks. But when okay. you open the toy, it's a doll's head. They've just got leftover doll's head. <laughs> I mean, if you have broken dolls. It... So it makes the pony tail. Repurpose is it? dropping that as a kid and then a head rolls <laughs> Yeah, that would, that would terrify it, kid. That is terrible! It makes me want to go and get toys now, just open them all up and see what's inside. <laughs> he started off so ambitious, this artist. You know, he was like, yep, that'll, that's great, that's amazing. That's a little smaller, doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I don't, I just don't care. I don't, oh my goodness. I don't care. <laughs> Why did he just give up hope? All the detail the original artist gets sick, just dissipates when you get further and further and smaller and smaller with the dolls. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey. I'm feeling fine. <laughs> that dinosaur is high as shit. That dinosaur See, found the good the leaves. In the Look at that. Oh my oh, goodness, that's creepy. It's creepy. <laughs> it's probably his dealer. Who designed that toy? He's not snitch. This fall in IMAX 3D. Jurassic High. Jurassic like, High. <laughs> why do I have to? Why? Like, why, dude? Why? I eat plants. Cinderella's nose job didn't go oh, flat. No. Oh my god. Poor placement of the puzzle Look at this piece. Puzzle. <laughs> Fairy Godmother's not gonna be able to fix that. Look at that. The thing is, after <laughs> you've made that puzzle, you're not gonna look at it and go, let's just, we have to change the whole thing because Cinderella is now a minger. Go home, Bella, you're drunk. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this this uh, one of those had a little bit too many at the it, party. The more you notice, like first of all, she's literally about to fall over feet wise. Her top She's got a nip slip going on, her dress has fallen off, and that hairdo. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's in the display case, that's when you buy it. <laughs> Bella's had a night out, man. She's, she's had a rough night. Oh. My. God. No. I wouldn't be no. able to drink from that. <laughs> it's just disturbing. No. You can't, you can't be serious. 
Who designed that? Who designed that? Imagine having to sip out of that with Buzz Lightyear looking at you like, that's right, Space Ranger. <laughs> I can't laugh. I can't laugh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No pun intended. Aus <laughs> when you first look at this, you think Australia, right? Wrong. Apparently, this is Austria. Yeah, oh, I, think, I think Austria no. and Australia have a lot in common, don't they? Why is that even a car? Like, what? <laughs> oh, my God. So, this teddy, right? Cute, adorable. I think maybe one of those homemade that ones from cute. Grandma. You know the ones? Take the clothes off. Teddy looks like a pair of scissors. Oh, no. That's terrifying. Like, if you're going to market towards kids, don't make them look like Slender Man. The Spider Man here. A really okay. weird looking Spider Man. On his spider quad bike. Very cool. We like that. Take him off the quad bike, however. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's uh, confirmed that it is it, Spider-Man is indeed a man. That's how he clips into his bike. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can definitely tell his spider senses are tingling. That's for sure. I'm sorry, what? I'm, I'm sorry. You can shave what? the baby. Not even an adult has that much hair what? on their ass. Why is that? Why would you want to shave a baby? Calves, like that. Why? Is this baby some sort of native tribe? I don't understand. What do they think kids want to do? I know they think that kids like playing adult, but shaving a toddler? That's just teaching them to abuse children. Oh. Oh, angry baby. No. Who designed that? <laughs> I am a it's like Grumpy Cat, but a baby. No! <laughs> I wouldn't sleep with that baby in the same room. Chucky's cousin. Who designed that? <laughs> the same person who designed Sonic. Probably. Look at that evil baby. I kind of just want to buy something like that. And give it to my daughter. Just no context. <laughs> Apparently Elmo has moved into the kitchen. Elmo doesn't want anyone Be saying very, nothing. Very and I won't slit your throat. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's amazing. I can do that with my throat right now. <clears throat> I can always Elmo. What in fairy tale land is this? What is the prince doing to the horse? I love that it says age is free plus. He yeah, did it to it! Um, the princess whispering I don't think that should be on the show. Don't worry. It'll be over soon. <laughs> <laughs> we all buy like night lights for our kids, you know, so being afraid of the dark is a very common fear um, <laughs> for, mm -hmm. for kids. So who better than Minnie Mouse? To uh, lighten up the day, except when you when you turn the light on, she, she looks like this. <laughs> oh no! You want to hear a it scary story, evil. kids? <laughs> oh my god, that would terrify me. Is that an elf? Is that an elf clinging to Santa's junk? What's it doing? Oh, oh no! God, is that... Oh god! All right, either someone's customized their Winnie the Pooh, or or Disney is trying a new look. Oh, that is Why terrifying. Do you have to that can't be a real thing. That has to be customized. The Lion King remake looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you have one job. Is they've stitched an eye on the wrong way. So Nala looks a little bit special. <laughs> <laughs> an elephant graveyard? What's that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. To be honest, this is why Baby Yoda is doing so well. Because apparently the normal Yoda looks like everyone's granddad. He has to take in his pal tablets. <laughs> <laughs> that is not Yoda. And I love on the box that it says super deformed plush. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no crap. He's deformed, all right. <laughs> oh, what? what? Real life expressions? <laughs> what Real expression life is that? Expressions. Hi. Hi, Kat. Expressing that. First time on shrooms? <laughs> First that? time on shrooms? Will you get hit with a frying pan? <laughs> what, what is that look? I don't know what some toy companies think when they make these things. I don't think I've... You know when you see, like, knockoff toys? Like, they, they say they're, like, from the real franchise, but then they're not. This one is it's probably the best example. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> they did Harry Potter so dirty. Harry Potter. <laughs> he just collided with a tub of paint by the looks of things. That's probably about ten pounds as well. Oh my god. So this mum apparently took a picture of her son when he was a baby and then made a doll of it. And that's the result. But there he is oh. in the picture. Um she's made him there. Oh Mom, no. I'm just gonna go off on a whim here and I'm gonna tell you 
That's weird. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Please hang up. <laughs> I think they put those <laughs> in the wrong packaging. <laughs> They're kids handcuffs. Imagine coming in and seeing your kids handcuffing each other with fluffy handcuffs. That's, that's way too kinky. What in the hell is that? Even, even the little girl on the box is looking at it like, I, I don't think I can love you. I don't oh, think no. I can. Why give it long, blonde, straightened hair? And why does it look like the hand of the girl is like about to slap her out of existence? <laughs> why? That's some really bad packaging. And on that note, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there. <laughs> so many more of these. Oh my goodness. Oh. Let's see. Be good to watch. Maybe let's do the worst infomercials. What's good, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Sorry if my eyes look a little bit funny. Like my hay fever is going crazy right now. My allergies are just driving me mad. And if it looks like I'm crying, <laughs> it's probably because I am. <laughs> We love to buy things as as a nation, don't we? We just love seeing a good deal, especially if it's for How a piece of equipment today? that could potentially change your life. What am I talking about? I'm talking about infomercials. They are the best. That I love nothing more than staying up late at night and just watching these terrible products and and seeing every effort being made to sell them to me. Today, we're going to be looking at compilations of the worst infomercials ever, as requested by you guys. Let's watch a video! Hey, yes. do you know the gazelle can help your love life? No, I didn't know how. <laughs> Don't okay. get afraid now. I'm going to put my foot oh. underneath your heel, okay? <laughs> and we can do that. This is, this is... Now she's trapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Props to the guy. Like, that's an amazing pickup. So technique. we're watching or reacting to He's Daz like, Games. She can't run anywhere! And... She can't run! <laughs> <laughs> um, and he... He has different reactions that he does to different, I guess it's kind of variety. Some it'll be, he'll do gameplay, he'll react to worst infomercials. This is kind of like a series of Daz watches. And this one, it's just worst infomercials that he's reacting to. The previous one was worst toy designs. One more thing. You can say anything you can want, I please? Why are they so hyped? <laughs> it's like before the cast come on stage, they just inject them with adrenaline. Pony, can I say one more thing? You can say anything you can want, I... You can say anything you want, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it. Yeah, you can do it. Come on, you oh. guys. Oh. Push, lean back, push, lean back. Come on, Tanya. Come on, Christina. Come on, Rob. You can do it. You can do it. You Pick can do ball. it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know what's wrong with this? Every single one of these people are fit. They're all physically yeah. fit. Where's all the people my size on there <laughs> that would actually need to use these things? Ouch. Ooh. Stubbed your toe in the middle of the night. Stumbling around in the dark is dangerous. Don't turn on the light and wake up the whole family. Now there's Bright Feet, the high-tech house shoes that light up. <laughs> Oh my god, an actual slipper that has a torch in it. <laughs> High tech house shoes. <laughs> the secret is Bright Feet's built in light sensor. There's no buttons to turn on or off. Bright Feet are fully automatic. How, how, how does that light the way? <laughs> I mean, it, it, that, that look of the house is bright enough as it is. You, it's just you don't really need that extra little bit of light by your toe. They automatically <laughs> turn off when it's light or turn on when it's dark. They're smart slippers. Bright feet also have a built-in weight sensor, so they only work when you're wearing them. Don't pay over $40 for a pair of old-fashioned slippers. Forty dollars. Who pays forty dollars for slippers? <laughs> if you pay forty dollars for slippers, you're mad. Hi, I'm Joe Gray with the Gojo Hands Free. The only Gojo. device on earth that's truly hands free. Is his name Joe? And did he <laughs> name his products after himself? The Gojo. Is that what happened? Late 1995. Hi, I'm Joe Gray with the Gojo Hands Free. Yeah, Joe Gray made the Gojo. 
You can't get more egotistical than that, can you? The only device on Earth that's truly hands-free. The Gojo goes on <laughs> with one hand, so you can keep your eyes on the road. It is so simple. I love it. I don't have to keep my hands <laughs> on my cell phone. When you can't afford a headset to talk to your friends on Call of Duty, <laughs> so you take one to your face. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine walking around with a phone just stuck to your face. Sorry about it. These things are not hands-free. You stick them in your ears, gross, but you still have to hold your phone. No, you don't, because you can just press the button and answer it. And yes, the Gojo will hold the weight of your phone. Even the weight of a five-pound laptop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I need to put my laptop on my face this real quick. This is revolutionary. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, Mum. Just watching porn. <laughs> oh God, he's just expi he's just found a whole new way of playing Fortnite with his friends. <laughs> just tape it to your face. Any phone, big or small, even the most radical moves won't knock it off. Great. Now I can do uh, back somersaults whilst talking to my friend. That's always been a problem. <laughs> Hard to store. Yeah, that, Hard don't to you handle. always do backflips while you're on the phone? Always end up tangled and kinked. What a mess. Introducing the pocket hose. The hose so small, it fits in your pocket. Just turn on the water and watch this mini hose grow and grow and grow. Now, I've actually got one of these hoses, uh, and they're actually good. Um, I don't know why this is on the compilation. They're so good. Like, they're just, they've replaced, like, normal hoses now. Get right on the water spout. Store it with your garden tools, or just keep it in your pocket. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to keep a hose in your pocket. Imagine getting, like, stop search and you've just got a hose in your pocket. How do you explain that? Junior can help. The pocket hose fits in the palm of your hand, and it's strong enough to pull this 5,000-pound SUV. For Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keep the hose in your pocket. That's why. Crack them like this, or you crack them like that, you're gonna end up with a real mess. Hello! Hello! Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Wendy! <laughs> I love that. That's going to be my new intro from now on. Hello, Dazzlers! <laughs> the Easy Cracker! Now you can crack eggs quickly. It looks like a circumcision tool. We just overcomplicate it. You, you just tap it on the side and boom, it's done. You can do it with one hand. It's not that hard. Without all the drop shells, whenever I crack an egg, there'd be a mess on the stove, a mess <laughs> on the counter. Well, they do it. Why are you so do, aggressive with like the eggs? That, if you just go... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And eggshells in my quiche. <laughs> <laughs> Egg shells in my quiche! <laughs> Egg shells in my quiche! Oh, that's okay. Thanks for stopping oh, in. I hope you feel Christ. better. Oh, I love this woman. I, I love this woman. The special attachment makes it easy to whip up. Why is she getting so violent? <laughs> She's so passionate. She's so okay. full of passion for her problems. Yeah, and I hope you feel She's better. About to Punch someone. The special attachment makes it easy. Special attachment, bruh. The special attachment, bruh. <laughs> 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 to whip up a healthy egg white omelet. We use the yolk to make pudding. <laughs> Man, they must have got Wendy. Wendy, come here. Before you go on, I want you to drink 50 Red Bulls. We're going to sell the hell out of this product. There's more. Order now, and I'll throw in the easy scrambler just for you. That's a plunger or a douche. One or the other. <laughs> I don't know what that is, Wendy. Every time your cell phone rings, you've got to find it and then pick it up. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Life is hard. Do you know, <laughs> it's so hard when your phone rings and then you got to go and pick it up. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just hard. Life is hard. Forget little Tuzil who has to wake up in the morning in Africa and walk five miles just to get a drink. Her sister's already been eaten by a crocodile. We have to answer our phone. <laughs> 
us to see who's calling. <laughs> and if you try to prop it up so you can see it, your cell phone's constantly falling. Well, who does who does this? Who does this? If I'm watching TV with a date or something, uh, we're trying to Netflix and chill, and she's too busy trying to prop her phone up against a lamp. I'm not going to be with her. You can get your cell phone off its back and let it sit up where you can see it with Happy Sack. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't make it. They did not make that. They called it a Happy Sack. So basically, <laughs> now they've made a ball bag for your phone to sit in. <laughs> Just place your phone on Happy Sack and you'll always see your phone. <laughs> you, know, your phone. you know, that's so perfect for my phone. Of calculators. How many calculators does this man have? He must be terrible at math. Your cell phone without searching for it. Happy Sack also holds iPods, MP3 players, and gaming systems. Even your GPS sits up, so you'll see every turn. Happy Sack is- You'll see every turn! <laughs> <laughs> Whereas before, you just couldn't. You couldn't have a sat nav, could you, without this bean bag? The new cushy bean bag in your choice of black, pink, or zebra. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Do you know what's missing from this collection, sweeties? Okay, we've got black, love it. Pink, who doesn't? But there's no zebra. We need zebra <laughs> in this collection, people. I don't know. I, I'd love to be there at the board meetings for this stuff. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Introducing the slob stopper. Forget the slob stopper. <laughs> like a sex toy no this doesn't exist messy spills and unplanned accidents just slip it on and enjoy your busy lifestyle <laughs> a bib <laughs> for adults it's a bib for adults oh <laughs> it's the same thing no no this is fake this can't be real perfect for your commute and everyday use oh yeah yeah she's gonna be really attracted <laughs> to a guy in a car Drinking like this. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I, I got some Pepsi on me bib. <laughs> <laughs> Polyurethane laminate fabric. The slob stop made with what? Polyurethane fabric. Love of fabric on one side and is waterproof on the other. Don't worry about covering up stains anymore. Go to slobstopper.com and order. She looks like she's about to perform a tonsil operation on her children. <laughs> Come on! Come on! This is not real. This does not exist. <laughs> Today, Slob Stopper, bibs aren't just for babies. <laughs> they went there. They, they went there. Oh god, I need one. I need a Slob Stopper now. I have to get one. Hot dogs. They're as American as baseball and apple pie. But what makes a hot dog more than just a hot dog? Introducing the Happy Hot Dog Man. It brings no. hot dogs to life, making lunchtime more fun. Or cannibalistic. How can you eat a sausage? That's been sculpted to look like a person. Oh my god. <laughs> this is horrendous. Into the happy hot dog man and close the lid. The happy hot dog man makes a happy imprint on your hot dog. Now you're ready to cook it into a fun 